Limewiga Funeral Home is the most affordable and only all-inclusive funeral home in St. Kitts and Nevis. Their modern facility houses a chapel, a viewing parlor, a repass room, a casket selection room, a print shop, a flower shop, and they offer cremation services. Their very affordable all-inclusive package includes embalming, overnight viewing, chapel services, and recovery after autopsy. For more information, call 466-1225-662-3118 or visit Limewiga Funeral Home at Limekeel Bastyr, where they offer service with compassion. General Manager of the St. Kitts Marine Works, Regwell Francis, will be off to St. Martin to assist the island in its marine salvage works. Speaking to the media recently, Mr. Francis said the salvage work would provide more income for his company to continue repairs to his facility, which sustained some damage from Hurricane Maria. Uh, we're looking at going to St. Martin uh, with the barge and crane to do salvage jobs. Uh, they are in critical need of that equipment. We have it here and um, we could assist the other island. Uh, we could make a little bit of money and we could use that money to do the repairs. Are these things considered for insurance as well? Yes, the insurance companies are the ones who usually pay for the salvage work. Uh, actually, we've been in contact with Magico down there and they want us to basically, well, the, the, contact, the initial contact with us was for us to go and salvage all of their insured um, that could be a very, very big, lucrative contract. Mr. Francis said his boatyard suffered major damage with the passage of Hurricane Maria. Despite this, his boatyard is one of the few surviving ones in the northeastern Caribbean. We're one of the few surviving boatyards in the Caribbean between Florida and St. Lucia. Uh, as you'd realize, all those other islands got hit really hard. Puerto Rico, which, which was uh, tied as a for number three, they are basically wiped out. St. Martin basically wiped out. So St. Catherine Works, we're one of the uh, top three. Well, we were, we were like top ones now in this section of the Caribbean. Uh, our yard had was full because vessels that needed repairs started coming. Uh, we're really out of space right now. We're trying to get more space to accommodate more boats, which more boats would need more work for individuals repairing the boats. But uh, at the time, it's, it's a challenge working with the government with it. Uh, they're trying their best, but uh, we're just trying to facilitate all the different needs in the marine sector. Meanwhile, Mr. Francis said the breakwater at the marina is still damaged, but some improving work is being done. The, the dock itself was not damaged. The breakwater is still damaged, but uh, like I said, the breakwater, it got knocked into the entrance. So it took us about three days to dredge that entrance over. Actually, before the hurricane, it was around uh, nine to 10 feet. We've now dredged it to about 14 feet. So we've actually improved it to the dredging out of the entrance, but the breakwater is still not back up to par. Hopefully we're past the hurricane season. And during the next six months or so, if we could make a little bit of money, we could purchase some more stones and build the breakwater back for protection. The breakwater really is just for protection during storms. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.